What's good, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. New Jersey twerk, no shows, another battle against Danger Zone yesterday. Now, what do I feel about this? I just want to open the young brother up on some things like I've been trying to do. <sighs> Not only did he no-show the Danger Zone battle, but he also no-showed the Danny Myers battle. He also no-showed the, um, he also no-showed the Black Ice Cartel battle versus Killer B. So, here's my point of what I've been saying from the very, very beginning pertaining to this young guy. We know how talented he is. We know how good he can be if he would just if he had any loyalty to himself. See, see, here's what it's all come down to. It has nothing really to do with the leads. It has nothing to do with nobody else but him. The man he have to address is the man in the mirror. This is something that's going on within himself. Let me tell you something. Loyalty has nothing to do with the other person. Loyalty has everything to do with who you are. You are the standing example to yourself and the others who watch you around you. You get what I'm saying? When you hear the term respect is not given, it's earned. That means respect is given based upon what you represent, what you resemble. When you when you do things like this, there's, there's a missing piece within yourself that you have yet to confront. And because of that, these are just the actions that's happening outside of you not correcting those things in yourself. This is what I be trying to get people to understand. It ain't the fact, let, let me tell you something. When a person smoking crack, yeah, we know that look bad. Oh, he, they on dope, they smoking crack. But what's not being addressed is what led the person to smoking the crack. Why do they smoke crack? You get what I'm saying? Why is she a prostitute? Why is he a thief? Why is he a liar? What are the chain of events that happened in one's life to lead them to these things that they are continually doing? See, that's what needs to be addressed. So when this brother running off with deposits, not showing up for battles, not giving an F and, 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 and uh, going through these temper tantrums and ranting on uh, blogs and interviews and things because there's something inner within himself that he's struggling with. I'm going to give you some advice, young man. And this real truth, brother, you have to be honest and you have to be a man who willing to accept his responsibilities the way you air at, twerk. That's real facts, bro. Having integrity, man, meaning you willing to not only look at the good things about yourself, but also the bad things also. The things you need to correct and fix to help you become a better man, a better father. And the things you know that's going to hurt you in the process of accomplishing those things that you need to do to be successful, man. Success is not only meaning what you can put in your pocket. Success is living long. Success is knowing that even at the end of your life, you are in right standing with the Lord God Almighty that you was raised to believe in, man. That your eternal place is secure. Now, when you're running off with deposits, no showing in battles, and you're doing the things you're doing, uh, young brother, here's the thing. The first person you disloyal to is yourself, man. I mean, you're a thief. Think about that. You can't talk you this, you that, you a baller, but then guess what you leaving out? You stole and took something from somebody. And the first person you stole and took something from is yourself. You stealing from your own self. You stealing respect from yourself. You stealing honor from yourself. That's what you not understanding. 
It affects others later. But think about before you made up in your mind to do what you did. Think about that talk you had to have within your inner self and actually putting it together of what you were going to do. See how you can't even escape from yourself? Think about that, brother. Before a thief steal, what goes in his mind? What's the influence he's under? And what do he agree with when he make up his mind to do it? See what I'm saying? See, the first person you wrestle with is yourself. Is yourself. And just like the word of God say, a man that, 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 that does not have control over his spirit, it's like a city without walls. You must have control over your spirit. So when those ideas coming in, like, man, I ain't going to show up to that place. But you know you got these people money. Who out of order? You out of order. You can dress it up and paint it how you want. But at the end of the day, you are stealing. And you are deceiving. So you a liar and a thief. Because you deceiving the people into believing you're going to have a return on what they paid you with. Only for you to know you're not going to show up. And that goes to show your character as a person as being shifty. You see how it continue to have a domino effect from a thief to a liar to actually show the shiftiness that's inside you as an individual. So when you're talking and you want to be real and want people to believe you, why should we believe a liar and a thief and a deceiver? Why? Why? So the thing come out of your mouth, you can't even be trusted on. You can't even be trusted on. I think it's very shameful to know that people go out of their way and come out of their pocket to try to help you out. And then this is how you repay the favor. Do you see how shifty and dirty that make you look, fam? Where was you two years ago? Where was you two years ago before you got received the end of battle rap community? Don't you know when you started out wanting to be accepted and approved, you gave it your all? And then once you was accepted and then you started being elevated, look at how you turned on the same people that put you in a position to be successful. Look how you turn. Is this your character? Is this your nature? Are you a shifty, dirty individual like all the facts are starting to come out to show? And will you be man enough to not only accept it, but fix it? Will you? Will you? Or will you sweep it under the rug and come up with some type of smart way of why you do the things that you do that's bogus to justify the means? Would you? You see, when people putting these events together, they're coming out of their pocket not only to pay you, but to pay other people. And then they got to tell the fans and people who they promoting, like, yeah, this is going to be a dope event. Y'all already know who coming, such and such. You burning bridges with people. You allowing people to come out of their pocket with un, un, uh, un, unnecessary funds that didn't have to be spent based upon your actions. And it's sad, fam. That's sad how you would do that to somebody who's looking out for you. If I'm looking out for you coming out of my pocket, giving you money and things like that, because you a brand. And this is what you're agreeing to. And I'm coming out of my pocket to pay you. This is how you do me? Why would you do me like that? If anything, brother, you keep that relationship and you network. Therefore, we can continue this thing going. And you got a clientele. See, in order to be successful, in the business, you have to have a clientele, just like the dope game. You're not going to be a successful dope dealer without clientele. And ain't no such thing as a successful dope dealer anyway. I'm just using this as an analogy. We know the end result to that is dope and prison and other things too that comes with it that you don't want to face living that life. But what I'm trying to tell you is to be successful, you need clientele. You need to network. How are you cutting off the people that's willing to come out of their pocket to look out for you? So you didn't burn the bridges of the lead that hide you for the danger zone. You didn't, you didn't burn the bridges with black ice cartel already so what are you doing man what are you doing you hurting your name you hurting your brand and you doing a disloyalty to yourself and your family man 
in your family. This is a way for you to do something legally to feed your family, fam. You're getting free hotels, free uh, trips. And they paying you, man, flying you out to come take care of business, what you should be good at doing. And you doing disloyalty to that. You coming in these events, recycling rounds, choking. Man, you just destroying yourself. You are committing career suicide within your own self, brother. And that's sad, especially when you got brothers that young and can't nobody even tell them nothing. You so damn hard-headed, can't nobody even tell you nothing. Maybe that was maybe that was an old man. Maybe that was an old man when that head, when that Jason Voorhees head of yours came out. Maybe that was an old man just showing that you was built and set up to be a hard head. Makes no sense. You're too arrogant. You're too cocky. That they, they they didn't spoil you and let you get to a point where you didn't have to earn nothing. And this the results of it. Of what I was saying to the URL. Immediately out the gate, they just catapulted this man, put him in position, gave him the key to the mansion. He didn't have to work for nothing to earn nothing. And these are the results of those actions. It's on. It's not only burning others. It's burning them too. Look how many battles he done messed up on the URL. Him and Cortez, he messed up. Him and DNA, he messed up. Him and Shotgun Suge, he messed up. Him and Averb, he messed up. Him and Blue Easy, he messed up. Look at what happens when y'all allow the person to come in without letting them earn. Without letting them earn their position. Because of greed. And it ain't doing right for neither one of y'all. Yeah, yes it is because they already done capitalized money. But y'all hurting this brother in the process. This wasn't good. Look, this hurt him in the process. Just don't make no sense. You gonna put yourself in a position where you going back to stealing purses and stuff? Come on, man. Grow the hell up, man. Grow the hell up. That's bogus, fam. You need to really check yourself, fam. And that's the real truth. You need to really check yourself. And this battle truth, it ain't my judgment that's some question. It's yours. You don't even know, man. You committing career suicide. And every day, more and more people turn away from you, fam. Turning away from you. Now, what you going to do? What you going to do when what you built up to do that you good at doing don't even want to re uh, receive you no more? Ain't even here for you no more, fam. Get yourself together.